actually were at the top of the table over in League One, of course, with Portsmouth still leading the charge and Oxford United breathing down the next. But what about the chasing pack in the playoffs? Who's in it? Who's out of it? We're going to take a little look next. That's right, folks. Batman's giving a prediction video today. We're taking a look at match number 16, of course, in this year's League One. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash the old subscribe button, bang on all things Rovers related, League One related, world football related, in a bloody basement. That's right. We are, of course, in uh, in the middle of the boonies, the Keystone State, Pennsylvania. Uh, looking forward to match number 16 in League One. Of course, we'll get to all of it in a second. Of course, if you're new again, make sure to check out the links down below Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all the kind of good stuff. And make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. A whopping 78% of you are not subscribed and make sure you like the video of course please do so it costs you absolutely nothing and it's going to work your in your favor by making sure you to provide you the content that you actually want to see of course also before we jump into it a big big shout out to the vips they are the patrons you know who you are but anyway let's get into it of course looking forward to the next one of the games but before all that we've got to bring you back up to date with what's gone on previously over in League One. Can we move that? No, I can't. Anyway, so let's uh, bring this up here because I'm not 18 anymore. I've got, to, I've got to look at these numbers from afar. So, Blackpool, big uh, loss there. 4-2 win in the end for Peterborough. Uh, that was at Bloomfield Road. Again, of course, uh, FA Cup dominated the headlines last week. Uh, so this is the return to League One action. I went with a 2-1 for Blackpool. Meanwhile, Bristol Rovers, managerless Bristol Rovers, 2-1 win over Northampton Town. I went with the two to win myself. Meanwhile, Burton Abbey and Leonor and Dugged out of a nil-nil draw. I went with the 1-1 draw myself. Meanwhile, Cambridge with a 1-0 win over Carlisle. Called it, lads. Got that one spot on the nose. Meanwhile, Bolton, 2 no winners over Charlton. <coughs> At the Valley. 2-1 win for me the other way. Meanwhile, Exeter 1, Lincoln City 1. I went with the, got them a spot on the nose as well. Barnsley, 2-2 draw against Fleetwood Town. I went with a 3-0 win myself. Meanwhile, Pompey with a 3-2 win over Reading. I went with a 2-0 win myself on that one. Meanwhile, Stevenage, 3-1 winners over Derby. I went with a 2-2 draw myself. Oxford United, 2-2 draw against Wickham. 2-1 win in my eyes. Uh, Chapman with a 2-1 win over Port Vale. I went with a 1-0 win myself. And then Wigan, 2-0 winners over Shrewsbury. 2-1 win in the end. Of course, those were my picks, of course. This is the state of play in the table. As you see, Portsmouth still leading the pack there. Oxford uh, within striking distance, though, of uh, of taking over number one spot. Bolton Wanderers are moving very, very close to uh, being a party pooper and getting in uh, those top two spots. Well, Peter Brain, too far away. Neither is Barnsley and Stevens. It's quite, quite tight there. Derby, Blackpool, uh, tumble out, of course. Going down, I believe it or not, along these lines, Cheltenham, Reading, Fleetwood and then Carlisle. Again, there are some points deduction, so that might not be 100%, but uh, we'll bring you back up to date with it uh, whenever we can. Of course, this is the link for the prediction league. We are not bringing you back up to date because I am uh, I'm working out of a shoebox here, really. I haven't got any of my stuff and it is quite difficult just to get these videos out. So, no, not going to bring you back up to date with that, but I will, of course, get the results for you next time around. And there should be a link for this week's predictions. And anyway, these are the games, of course, coming out to this coming weekend. So let's look forward to them because I am already excited. Hopefully you are too. I'm going to start right there with a bit of a Northwest Crunch Clash. It is, of course, Bolton Wanderers. It is Blackpool. It's over at the Reebok or whatever they call it these days. There are a few other games going on. Uh, I'll talk about them quickly. Of course, Shrewsbury against Bolton. That's over at Shrewsbury. We're going to take on Peterborough and running against Bristol Rivers. Those games take place on Tuesday, November the 7th. But these are the games that, of course, take place from Saturday, November the 11th, of course. So Bolton, Blackpool, of course, play to the third. 13 times to 20, got three wins apiece and seven draws. Biggest win for Bolton was a 1 0 win. They've scored just 18 goals in 13 matches, 1.38 goals a game. I guess Blackpool, their biggest win, 4 2 win. They've got 19 goals in 13 matches, 1.46 goals a game. Blackpool, though, just one defeat past six, 67 for them right now, eighth in the table and 24 points on the board right now. Though Bolton, uh, uh, four wins on the bounce, 83 percent for them over the last six. They are third with 29 points on the board, of course. That's the round over at the uh, Reebok or whatever, Boundary Park, whatever they call it these days. 0 0 it was way back in. October 2019, that was in League One. Bolton with a 4 0 win over Solihull Moors. They're through to the second round of the Cup. And Blackpool would join them after 2 0 away win over Bromley. But the odds for this one, we do have Bolton, uh, even Stevens for the victory. 5 2 is to draw 13 5 is, of course, your away win. Could be a tough one here. I'm backing Bolton to a 2 0. We'd love to see Blackpool get uh, uh, back in the mix of there. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm just, I, I like to see uh, both of these two teams back in the Championship to make it a very, very Northwest. Uh, over overdrive in the division. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, let's get into the next one. Carlisle United against Bristol Rovers. Come at you from Carlisle. Now these two sides have played each other 19 times in 2003. What seven wins for Carlisle? Seven wins for Bristol Rovers. And got five draws. Of course, Big Smith for Carlisle. Four nil win. They got 25 goals in 19 matches. 1.32 goals a game. Up against Bristol Rovers. Three nil win. Their biggest 28 goals scored in 19 matches. 1.47 goals a game. Bristol Rovers are unbeaten in the last three. Now 58 percent for them right now. 15th at the table and 19 points on the board. Up against Carlisle. 21st at the table with 14 points on the board. Just one. 
one win in the last six uh, games, 70% form for them heading into this. Last round, though, over in Carlisle was a one win for Carlisle back in March 2022. That's when both of these two sides were in League Two. In fact, the home side hasn't, uh, the, the away side hasn't won this game in the last six, seven, eight, nine, ten matches, about nine or ten matches there, stretching all the way back to 2008 uh, when Carlisle beat Bristol Rovers at Bristol, of course. Uh, Carlisle with a big 3 1 loss to Leighton They are out of the cup. Bristol Rovers, 72 winners over Whitby. They are in the cup and in, in style as well. The odds here 6 to 4 is Carlisle, 70 to 10 is Bristol Rovers, 12 to 5 is draw. Maybe, just maybe, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the getting rid of uh, Barton, of course, may have been a blessing in disguise as Bristol Rovers may actually start to turn up uh, and, and be a competitor this time. One no win for me against Carlisle on this one. Next up, we do have Cheltenham Town against Wigan Athletic. Let's get into this one now, shall we? Over in Cheltenham. Now, these two sides up each other three times in 2003. Got one win for Wigan, two draws, of course, nothing for Cheltenham. Cheltenham, though, having even scored a goal against Wigan over the course of these three matches. But Wigan coming to us with a 2 0 win, their biggest, and scoring just two goals in those three matches to put six, seven goals a game. Cheltenham, though, 42% form for them right now, winning twice out of the last six. They are still 23rd with eight points on the board at that moment. Meanwhile, Wigan, five wins in the last six, 83% form for them right now. Officially, they are 19th with 14 points on the board at the moment. Meanwhile, last round at Cheltenham was a 0 0 draw back in January 2022. And like I said, Cheltenham yet to score against Wigan. But they uh, did score a goal in the last match, which was a 5-1 loss to Wimbledon in the Cup. Wigan with a 2-0 win over Exeter to go through to round two. But the odds right here right now, Chapman 9-5 for the victory, 52 is draw 11-8 is, of course, your Wigan Athletic. I'm going with a draw here. I know that might not really sound uh, very uh, likely because I think Chapman are pretty shit and we're going to probably in a false position because of their negative points. But I'm going to go with a draw and I'm going to back it as well. Derby County against Barnsley, probably one of the games of the round right here. And now coming at you over at Pride Park. Pitch of the 36 times in 19 We've got 17 wins for Derby, 11 wins for Barnsley, 8 draws, of course. Biggest win for Derby, 3 0 win. They got uh, 51 goals in 36 matches, 1.42 goals a game. Up against Barnsley, biggest win for them, 4 1 win. They got 40 goals in those uh, 36 matches, 1.11 goals a game. Barnsley, though, without a win, without a loss in the last six, 75% form for them right now. They're fifth in the table with 27 points on the board. Up against Derby County, three wins in the last six, 58% form for them right now. They're seventh with 24 points on the board. Of course, a win for Derby could see them leapfrog Barnsley, depending on goals scored and all that kind of jazz. Last time around, though, over at Pride Park, was a 3 0 win for Derby. Derby back in January 2023. That was in the FA Cup. Last time I played that in Derby, though, in the league, it was a 2 1 for Derby back in August 2022. Derby with a big 4 0 win over Northampton Town. That was their most recent match. They're taking on crew in the Cup uh, in, a, in a day or so. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Barnsley uh, beat, uh, well, actually, drew with Horsham. 3-3 uh, three, three in the end there. Replay to come on that one, uh, I am, I'm, I'm told. Uh, but of course, the odds for this zinger zinger. We have 4-3 to three on is your derby. 30-5 is your draw. 50-4 is your away win. Don't know which way I'm going. Going 2-1 win. That's right, derby with the points. Making a push for playoffs. Let's get into the next one then, shall we? It's Fleetwood Town against Exeter. Uh, coming at you from Fleetwood. Now, these two sides have played each other six times in 2012. Got nothing for Fleetwood. Three for Exeter and three draws, of course. Biggest win for, uh, for Exeter was a 3 0 win. They got 11 goals in six matches, 1.83 goals a game. Fleetwood, though, without a win, but six goals scored in six matches, of course, a goal a game on average. Fleetwood, though, unbeaten in the last three games, 33% form for them right now. They're 22nd at the table with 13 points on the board. Okay, it's Exeter without a win in the last six. In fact, they haven't won in the last nine. 8% eight, eight, eight form for them right now. Uh, 17th at the table with 17 points on the board as well. Last round at Fleetwood, 2 2 it was. Back in, of course, uh, in April 2023, Fleetwood taking on Kidderminster in the Cup. That's, of course, to be played. Uh, of course, Exeter already out, crashing out to Wigan as well. The odds 6 to 5 is your, if it's your Fleetwood, 5 to 2 is draw, 2 to 1 is, of course, Exeter. Could be a draw here, but I'm going to go with a 1 0 win for Fleetwood. New manager about Lee Johnson has them ticking slowly but surely to get ready to get uh, clear of that relegation zone as well. Mean Lane Orient up against Oxford United at Brisbane Road. Now, these two sides have played each other 11 times in 2003. We've got five wins for Orient, three wins for Oxford, and three draws, of course. Biggest win for Orient, 2 0 win. They've got 13 goals in 11 matches, 1.18 goals a game. Up against Oxford United, 5 0 win. Their biggest 14 goals scored in 11 matches, 1.27 goals a game. Not 67 percent form for them right now. Oxford United has just one defeat the past six. They are second with 32 points on the board. Up against Orient, who are unbeaten in the last six. Three wins, three draws. Uh, 75 percent form for them right now. 14 for the table and 20 points on the board as well. Last round in competitive action was a 2 2 draw at uh, Brisbane Road back in October 2015. That was in League Two. Oxford beating Maidenhead. They go through to the second round of the cup. Leighton Orient beating Carlisle to join them in the second round of the cup. But the odds here we have 90 to 10 is your Orient, 12 to 5 is your. Draw 30 to 10 is your away win. Tough one here. 2 
one win though for Oxford to keep a bit of heat uh, for Pompey at the top spot there. And next up we have Lincoln City against Port Vale, of course. Lincoln City, a uh, bit of a slumpy form right now. Port Vale also not doing great. Uh, at the moment, place of the 14 times to done six, six wins for Lincoln, seven wins for, for Port Vale, and one draw. Biggest win for Lincoln, 6 2 win. They got 22 goals in those 14 matches, 1.57 goals a game. Port Vale, though, 4 0 four win, their biggest 19 goals scored in 14 matches, 1.36 goals a game. Vale now, of course, 50% form for them, 1 2 loss to and draw to over the last six. 16 for the table with 18 points on the board. Up against Lincoln, uh, three games now without a win, 42% form for them. They are ninth with 22 points on the board. As well, last round though in Lincoln, 3-2 win it was for Lincoln back in April 2023. Lincoln crashing out to the cup to Morecambe. Port Vale drawing with Burton to go again in a replay. The odds though for this one, we do have Lincoln City 11 to 10 for the victory, 13 five draw. Port Vale are nine to four. Another tight one could go either way. Back in a draw here, one one in the end on this one. Next up, we have Northampton Town against Burton now being coming at you up at the six fields. Uh, of course, now these two sides have played each other. 15 times in 2009. We've got five wins to Northampton, seven wins to Burton, three draws, of course. Biggest win for Northampton, 3 1 win. They got 23 goals in those 15 games, 1.53 goals a game. Burton, though, biggest win, 2 0 win. They got 25 goals in 15 matches, 1.67 goals a game. They're on 67% form for them at the moment. Burton now being uh, without a win now in three. However, just one defeat in the last six. They are 13th at the table with 20 points on the board. Up against Northampton Town without a win in the last six matches, 8% form for them. Now they're free falling. They're down to 20th, 14 points on the board. Uh, John Brady could be on the brink, of course. Last time around, they're over at the Six fields. It was a 2 0 win for Burton back in February 2021. Burton with a draw against Port Vale in the Cup. They'll do that again. Meanwhile, Northampton Town crashing out to Barrow of League Two. Not great for them either. 21 to 20 is your Northampton Town. 5 to 2 is your 12 to 5 is your away win. And backing Northampton Town to get that win. 2 1 win. Burton taking the L on this one. Next up is Tabletopers. No, it's not. It's Peterborough. It's Peterborough. Oh, my days. Uh, taking on Cambridge is the early kickoff, though, on Saturday, November the 11th. Now, these two sides have played the seven times in 2015. We've got four wins for Peterborough, two wins for Cambridge, and we've got one draw, of course. Biggest win for Posh, 2 0 win. They've got nine goals in seven matches, 1.29 goals a game. Cambridge, though, 2 0 win their biggest. Just seven goals scored in seven matches, one goal a game on average. They're on 50% form, though, Cambridge, now unbeaten in the last four, but 1 2 lost to and drawn to over the last six. 12th in the table, 20 points on the board at the moment. Meanwhile, Posh unbeaten in the last six games. In fact, they haven't lost in the last eight. 83% form for them right now. Fourth in the table and 28 points on the board as well. Last round, though, last round in the league at Peterborough. It was a 1 0 win for Posh back in October 2022. Posh uh, did draw with Salford 2 2 in the cup. They'll do that again. Meanwhile, Cambridge with a big 2 1 win over Bracknell. They're through to round two. Next up, we do have the odds. Here's a 20 to 11 on is your Posh. Here's 7 2 is your draw. 4 to 1 is your long shots. Posh will get a 3 1 win. Comfortably done, making a push. For the top two again, remember Peterborough in a double match week for them against Wigan uh, in the week. Meanwhile, P uh, Portsmouth, who are table toppers at the moment, up against Charlton, uh, of course, coming at, at Fratton Park. Now, these two sides have pitched uh, 33 times since 1993. We've got eight wins for Portsmouth, 21 wins for Charlton, four draws, of course. Biggest win for Portsmouth, 3 1 win. They've only got 32 goals in 33 matches, 0.97 goals a game. Charlton, though, their biggest win, 3 0 win. They've got 50 goals in those 33 matches, 1.52 goals a game. Charlton, though, 58% form for them over the last six. Uh, they are 11th in the table with 21 points on the board. Up against Portsmouth, who are unbeaten in the last six games, 92% form for them. They are 30. Five points at the moment, just of course table toppers right now. Last time around at Fratton Park, it was a 3 1 win for Charlton back in New Year's Day. Uh, of course, that was last season. Charlton, of course, winning three in the bounce against Portsmouth. Uh, but coming to us on the back of a 3 2 win over Wigan, they are taking on Cray Valley in the Cup, still to be played. Portsmouth taking on Chesterfield, still to be played in the Cup as well. Uh, but the uh, odds for this one, we have Ponts, Portsmouth 6-4 on for the victory, 3 one draw, 4-1 is your long shots. I am back in Portsmouth, 3-1 win for them to take the three points and remain where they are, tip at the top of the table. Of course, next up we have Shrewsbury Town against Reading coming at you from Gay Meadow, is that where they play? Pitch of the Never, these two sides, Shrewsbury coming just on 58% form for them right now. Uh, what we're looking at, three wins the last six, they are 18 for the table with 17 points on the board. Up against Reading, two wins the last six, 33% form for them right now, they are 24 for the table, six points on the board at the moment. As well, Reading with a 3-2 win over MK Dons, of course, in the FA Cup to go through. Shrewsbury with the same score. I never called Chester tonight to join them in round two. But the odds right here right now, we have 23-20 is your Shrewsbury. 12-5 is draw. 23-10 is your way. And Reading have got to get a win somewhere, but not here. 2-1 win. Shrewsbury keeping the heat uh, on the on the coach. And he could be also next in line to get the chop. And then wrapping up, wrapping up, is Wickham Wanderers against Stevenage. Of course, coming out at Adams Park. Plays at the 17 times. 20 We've got eight wins of Wickham. Six wins of Stevenage. Three draws, of course. Biggest win for Wickham. 7-5 win. Goodness. Me. They've got 21 goals in 17 matches, 
1.24 goals a game. Up against Borough, uh, Stevenage, 3 0 win, their biggest 20 goals scored in 17 matches, 1.18 goals a game. Uh, Stevenage are without a loss now in the last four, 50% form for them over the last six. Uh, sixth in the table with 26 points on the board. Up against uh, Wickham, just one defeat at the last six, 58% form for them. They are 10th with 22 points on the board at the moment. Last around over at uh, Wickham, it was uh, in competitive league action. Um, got to go back to 20, 2018. One nil win it was for Wickham uh, back in May. Uh, of course, Wickham with the 2-1 win over Bradford in the Cup. They're through to round two, as are Stevenage with the 4-3 win over Tramia as well. But the odds right here right now, we do have Wickham 31-20 for the victory. 25 is draw, 13-8 is your away. And tough one here, going to go with a 2-0 win for Wickham, making a push for the playoffs and taking a, uh, uh, giving some damage to Stevenage on this one. That completes the pack here, guys. Hopefully you uh, can see my picks right here right now. And of course, if I'm right, uh, that's the link out there for yours. Uh, this is the, what the table will look like if everything goes my way. Potsmouth remain tip at the top of the table with, of course, Oxford in second. Then it'll be Bolton. Let me Peter about Barnsley and then Derby. Going down, we have Cheltenham, Reading, uh, Carlisle and Fleetwood or something to that effect. That's, of course, my picks. Of course, don't forget to get your own picks in as well. We look forward to seeing you when we come back around. And make sure you smash all the old like. Make, make, make the YouTube algorithm work for you guys by getting the content that you want to your bloody homepage there. And also make sure you subscribe. A whopping 78% of you are unsubscribed. We've got to get those numbers changed here, guys. But then we'll be back next time around for more league action over in League One. But until then, I'll see you soon for the next.